gonna do another entry in my adventure book and today I just wanted to approach it slightly different as we can't really travel at the moment. I decided I wanted to do a painting uh, in one of the country pages, a country where I actually haven't been yet. So get yourself a cup of tea, get comfortable. We're gonna be here for a while. Thank God you won't be here as long as I was with this painting. I mean, I haven't painted since art school, so um, I love picking it back up again, but damn, I am slow. <laughs> oh God, I think it took me four or five sessions to paint this tiny painting, um, but I'm so glad how it turned out. And uh, it, it was just, so relaxing so um i can definitely recommend uh, getting your uh, your paint stuff out again and uh, getting started with that so as you can see the page i have turned over open is brazil i would love to go to brazil one day it it's i think it would be an amazing country amazing culture um but alas, at the moment, that isn't really in the cards. So I thought, how about I just make a painting of what I imagine a part of Brazil would look like. And um, yeah, that it would even spark that flame even more of, of wanting to go there in the future. Maybe it's not like this at all. <laughs> But it was so fun imagining it. And for this image, I imagine a really romantic image of like the old movies with the big jungle and the wide river, the calm river with the, those cruises going over it and a woman standing there with the sunset. So I mean, <laughs> I just had that vision in my mind and I might be completely off, I probably am, but that's just something I had in my mind and I thought that would be really, really nice to paint. And that's the, one of the joys of painting. I mean, you can make up your own realities. So if I ever get a chance to, to visit Brazil, it can show me all its glorious realities then. So uh, for now, I decided to go with that image. So a beautiful, lush jungle and a river. And um, I always try to but, well, always, there's no always. I started painting again since since years. So um, let's just say I plan on putting myself in all of these images because I kind of like to see them as vision boards as well. So with vision boards, they always say, put yourself in the image too, so that you, um, it feels like a reality. For instance, if it's your dream to own a Ferrari, that's not my dream but could be yours then always like paste your own face in that Ferrari driving it so that it feels more of a reality so yeah I thought that would be really cool and uh, I always like to have a focal point so you might be wondering am I doing this in my journal where I'm also crafting about the places I'm already I've already been to and what if I go to Brazil one day then I don't have room for it anymore well <laughs> I have multiple adventure books I think that's one of the perks of actually making them <laughs> um, so one I use for scrapbooking about the actual trips I've been on and so I started this new one um, where I paint and I use the country pages um, or challenges as prompts to basically get inspiration from and um, yeah just have fun with it and see see where it leads and uh, I, I, I've, I've had so many ideas already about all the countries and um, some that I have no picture in my head about at all um, countries I may not have heard about before and then you start researching them and it's like wow this is beautiful and um, you get to explore it through painting so I think that I thought that was really cool also one of the other reasons why I decided to start painting uh, on uh, the countries that I haven't visited yet is obviously um, it takes quite a while to, to, to travel to, to, to multiple countries and you have to save up money and so on. Uh, so I thought, hmm, if I just start 
painting uh, the countries and imagine what they would be like, that suddenly opens up 196 opportunities for me to paint about uh, to paint about countries and to uh, do entries in my adventure book. So uh, I thought this would be really fun to. Um, to take a different approach and maybe you can still just paint uh for the countries in uh, the countries that you have visited if like scrapbooking isn't your thing this would be perfect too i mean how amazing would this be if you have uh, a whole book with these beautiful paintings for the places that you have visited So for paint, I am using gouache. Um, I picked it up after seeing someone paint with it on YouTube. Um, and I'm, I'm new to it, but I absolutely love um, how bright the colors are and how opaque it is. I think it's kind of in between of um, acrylic and watercolors because you can layer it, you can um, make it wet again and then you can you can mix it and reapply and layer over it uh, and it dries really fast <laughs> which is great because I always smudge um, and I just oh, colors are just so bright um, and with the tiny tiny brushes you can really get in there and um, do really fine um, fine lines and fine um, drawings of what you want to do um, the brand that I'm using is Windsor & Newton. I don't think it's necessary for me to say this, but not sponsored. <laughs> um, yeah, I love it. I thought I bought like the tiniest brush to be able to get all those, those little leaves in, but um, it, I struggled sometimes like getting it very very tiny so after after this painting I bought even a smaller brush I think that has maximum five hairs in it <laughs> so um, I think you can barely call it a brush but uh, yeah it's uh, it's crazy how how tiny it has to be and as you can tell maybe maybe not <laughs> I filmed this over multiple sessions, um, as you can see by my fabulous outfit changes and chipped nail parade, because um, I'm just still so, so, so slow. Um, I, I think this, this took me, I'm not, I'm not exaggerating, I think between like 15 and 20 hours to just do this, but I didn't really care because um, I was enjoying every single bit of it and uh, whilst doing it I felt like oh hey I, this is turning out really nice I'm I didn't realize I could do this so yeah by actually taking the time it was it was just really relaxing and seeing it come to life and um, as well when I would make a mistake I, would, I knew that like oh no it wasn't I didn't have to feel like it was ruined I could just paint over it again and just correct it. So that's, I really love that about the gouache, that it's quite forgiving in that sense. So yeah, really loved it. During lockdown, I had so many ideas and aspirations to produce tons of videos, but it, it just didn't happen. And I'm kind of kicking myself for it. But, um, seeing, I mean, lots of you are looking for inspiration, how to fill your pages. And um, I really wanted to offer you guys that as well. And uh, on the first video that I posted, you guys left so many sweet comments that you loved the video and um, you would love to see more videos and uh, I'm 
planning on doing many more in the future um but yeah during this pandemic i guess you can't really predict how you're gonna feel and uh, how it suddenly takes over your life so i'm just glad that i'm learning lots of stuff with editing and and learning about youtube and just being grateful what actually for what actually comes out of my hands um and i hope these videos are just entertaining and helpful that's that's the main goal i guess Have you guys experienced the same thing? Like you had all these aspirations of picking up new hobbies and learning new skills maybe. Did it work out? Did it, did you smash it? Or did, yeah, life take over, I guess? Um, I would love to know, let me know in the comments. <laughs> so let me know that I'm not alone in this. Um, but anyways, um, also I can't believe how intricate I made this painting. Yeah, for the first time painting in years. Let's make this super intricate painting with lots of leaves and lots of details. Um, yeah, before I started, I wanted to make this a simple painting and it just kind of evolved into this. I was just looking on Pinterest and I saw all these amazing illustrations and I was like, oh, I want to do something like that too. And it kind of evolved into, into this. Um, and I thought to myself, okay, I will not do that next time. Um, but I just finished a drawing of, for a very, very cute Parisian street with, I think, a bazillion windows and pastries in a shop. Yeah. <laughs> it's gonna be good, though. It's gonna be good, though, once I finish it in a decade. Anywho, doesn't matter how long it takes, as long as you're enjoying the process and... For the mountains in the distance, I decided to kind of do a faraway forest, but not make it as intricate as the, the plant that are more cl close to, to us. Um, I just kept on drawing squiggly things that sort of resembled plants and added in more colors and just adding in more and more and more details until I felt, okay, now it feels sort of as an overgrown mountain with lots of trees and everything and <laughs> it didn't take much and also for the sky i didn't really like the the pink so i brought in a little bit more of a peachy color which is my favorite color peach to make it feel more of a sunset kind of vibe and um, i think it matched really well with the dress uh, which is actually a dress that i own it's one of my favorite dresses which also again helps making it feel like you're actually there and actually in that scene so I'm really happy with it so yeah definitely um, send your creations to me through Instagram or share them on Instagram and tag me I uh, will put it in the description below as well I'd love to see them uh, if you are doing this with your adventure book as well even though I haven't actually been to Brazil I kind of feel that I have now so yeah, and this is it. This is the end result and I'm super stoked. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you in the next one. Bye.